I'll see you later. You doing okay? Yeah, why shouldn't I be? I don't know. So you got your man? <laughs> yes, I did. Come on, spill details, please. No, no, no. Too intimate to kiss and discuss. What kind of girlfriend are you anyway? <laughs> well, at least tell me about Nick. He moved out. Finally. I told you there was a room. At least I tried to tell you. You did. Only you got Nick on the phone. He pretended to be me. Yeah, by the way, sorry about uh, saying that you were drunk. Oh, hey, forget it. Like that never happens. <laughs> yeah, but you did have my back. <laughs> oh, honey, I guess you're the gay son I never had. Really? Mm -hmm. So how's my brother the straight one? Mm, Rex has been better. Still problems with Stacy? Yeah, well, listen, that would be great compared to having his father in town. Yeah. After all the trouble you went through to keep Rex from finding out about Mitch. Yeah, it was bad enough when Mitch was a corpse. Now it's even worse that he's breathing. I just... I don't get it. What? How, how did you end up having a kid with somebody who scares you so much? You did not dump your father. Come on, Shane, we talked about this. Yeah, you didn't say that you were coming up here to be with Skylar. That wasn't the plan. <laughs> yeah, right! You had sex with them. Watch it. It's so obvious. Okay. I'm gonna get dressed, and then we'll talk about this in the car. Are you coming home? I am taking you to Justin's where you told your father you would be. You can't just take off on people, Shane. What? Only you can? I will be two minutes. So, uh... Uh, you want, you hungry? You want some f food? Some no. Hot chocolate? Okay. I'm really sorry, buddy. That you snaked mom away? Or that I found out? I'm sorry that you found out this way. You sorry that you've busted up my whole family? <laughs> Shane, nobody wants that. I mean, you heard your mom, your family's still... I'll wait in the car! Okay. for me uh, today's mail uh, schedule call list every member of the city council has called this morning <laughs> of course they have uh, and we have requests uh, for comment about Bo Buchanan's firing I've already given the press everything that the I banner have. and and the inquirer in Philly both want to talk to you you mean carve me up how are we doing with the press uh, uh, the Sun loves us Everywhere else is, um, mixed. Anna. Well, talk and, you know. Today, City Hall is filled with rampant speculation about Mayor Dorian Lord's motives and the legality of her attempt to fire the commissioner. Attempt? Well, they say he has a lawsuit. Great. And where, I ask, is the outrage about what Bo and Nora did? Well, the tabloid talk shows are thrilled. Landview Exposed ordered a mud ring and is trying to book the entire Buchanan family. Hmm. And what about the average citizen? Uh, we didn't overnight. Registered voters sided with the commissioner, 68% to 32. We've got to change the subject. Get people focused on something else. <sighs> Madam, with all due respect, uh, have you ever considered changing your mind? I do not. Flip-flop. Then we need to make sure the firing sticks. Indeed. And what is this? Uh, I don't know. There's no return address. It was hand-delivered. Hey, kids. Is this my welcome party, or are we here to say goodbye to old Bo? Okay, Bo's not going anywhere. You sick son of a... No, no, easy. John? 
Caught him with a cell phone. Where did he get that? It was planted to incriminate me. There's a lot of that going around these days. This man framed me. Your stabbing has been ruled an attempted suicide. Not smart, Nora. If you participate in covering up a crime, even you can be fired. And I don't think your office can survive another scandal. What is that? The end of Bo Buchanan's career in law enforcement. Get my code. I, I just don't understand how you ended up with Mitch. I mean, was it was it a one night stand? Was he was he different back then? How did you fall for him? I never fell for that dirt ball. So it wasn't love. Love, love. Are you kidding? The guy isn't even human. I'm telling you, he's Satan's wingman. Okay. No, no, no. You don't seem to understand. It is not okay at all. You even touch the guy. You got to put your soul in hock. He's a mistake that you make that you don't get over very easily. I'm sorry, Rox. I'm not trying to upset you. Well, then stop trying to push me, all right? I want to help, okay? You're one of the best friends I have. And I, and I know you haven't talked to anybody about this. I was there. I saw the clinic. I know there's a lot more to this thing between Rex and his dad than you're telling anybody. Cut your losses, Nora. Go to hell, Lawrence. These two losers are going to bring you down with them. We can get them out of here anytime. They are checking a cell right now for prohibited items. Mm. I'm not feeling well. <clears throat> Did a doctor sign off on his transfer? We were happy to have him out of there, yeah. I want a paramedic to check him out regularly. Okay. Get ready for him and holding. Okay, let's lock him up. Just a minute. As mayor, I have a few things to say. Hey, Shane, what's up? What do you mean? What is... What? Okay, all right. Um, I don't want to assume anything about last night. And if it means me coming between you and your son, then maybe we should think. And so now you want to think. No, I, I just think... You're not be... walking out on me. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to. DG, it's me. Open up. You really want to be my friend? Roxy, I am your friend. Just let me act like one. Because if you really want that, you want to be my friend? Yeah. You will never mention the clinic, and you will never mention Rex's father ever again. Hello, darling. You gonna be leaving with me, or are you joining me downstairs? Get him out of here. <laughs> Bo, what are you doing here? His job? What are you doing here? Uh, you were informed of your termination last night. It's not going to stick, Dorian. I was advised to show up for work and keep doing my job. And who gave you that advice? Your live-in lawyer? Like, her advice has never gotten you into trouble before, has it? Okay, I gotta go to court now. Enjoy that, for now. Mayor Lord, do you have a reason for being here? I suggest that you leave, Bo, and do it quietly. Forget it. You can't fire me on personal grounds. No? How about mm, charges of obstruction of justice, filing false charges, corruption? Give me a break. Uh-huh. What is that? Evidence of a cover-up. It started with John McBain, and it goes all the way to the top. To you, 